Hello and welcome everybody. Today we are going to be learning the guitar solo from Hot For Love by K.K. Downing. Uh, the song appears on the album Turbo, uh, released by Judas Priest in 1986. It's a real cracker. Let's take a look. So we're going to be breaking the solo down into sections, um, and you guys can sort of staple every section together at the end uh, once we've done each piece. I'm mainly going to uh, rely on simply playing the actual notes just really, really slowly, uh, and for you guys to uh, just just map down what's going on. I, I, it's the easiest way I find when I'm when I'm trying to learn a solo of somebody else. Um, so section one, we begin on uh, the bottom E string, 22nd fret, and we're going to be uh, coming down to the 19. Uh, it's a pentatonic sequence, more or less pentatonic, um, coming down uh, all the way to the top string. Every note that we play is going to be picked. Um, it's actually a lot faster on the CD than it sounds. It's, it's very, very easy to play slowly. Speeding it up is, is kind of the challenge for this first section. Let's hear it really slowly just to begin with before we step through it. Slight quarter bend at the end there on that last note. So it is actually, now that I'm looking at it, a pentatonic uh, scale, exactly uh, uh, as we've all learned a hundred times before. Um, basically, with each step, we're, we're, we're playing each set of two notes twice on the way down, except for the first, uh, except for the first on the uh, on the bottom E string. So let's hear that again. We go 22-19, and then 22-19 on the B. But we play it twice. And now 21-19 on the G, 21-19 on the D, 21-19 on the A, let's hear that again, sorry, the rest of it. Uh, is I, what I do is I slide down to 17 on the A to play the rest of it. If you find that too annoying and probably technically the right thing you should be doing is using your ring finger on 22 on the top E instead. So go like this. That's cool if you want to do that. Here's how I do it. Back up to 21 on the A. 21 on the E. 19 on the E. 17 on the E, before coming back up to finish on 19, on 21 on the top E, and there's the final statement at the end, 21, 19, 21 on the top E. Again, really slowly, whole lot all together. The end of section one. Uh, the section two is down at this end of the neck. We're moving our fingers down to sit on the second fret, uh, your index finger on the second fret, and lining your other four fingers up to the fifth. The sequence of notes is at the same speed as um, this sequence we've just done here. Uh, we're starting on open A with a down pick, going O two three four on the A. We then do the same thing on the D. All the way up to five. O two three four five. Then come back down from the five using the same sequence of notes. 
until you hit the open D. Uh, then there's the final four notes are 3, 2, 4, 2 on the A. Whole sequence, 0, 2, 3, 4. 0, 2, 3, 4 on the D. 5, 4, 3, 2, 0, 3, 2, 4, 2. 0, 2, 3, 4 on the A. 0, 2, 3, 4, 5, 4, 3, 2, 0 on the D. 3, 2, 4, 2 on the A. One more time with feeling. A little bit more feeling. So we're palm muting everything except for the very last note. And give that a little bit of a vibrato, a little bit of a wobble. You haven't got very long because <clears throat> you've got to snap up to uh, the 14th fret on the G string to do a great big bend for, let's call it section three. And this goes like this. Full bend up to 16. Release. Voice the 12. Pull off to the 12. And then you're trying to hit an artificial harmonic on the 14. There it is. So. You can pull it that way if you prefer. I like to push up, you can pull down instead. Uh, so that's <clears> the <throat> start of section three. The next, the, the rest of section three is the large kind of guitar synthesizer awesome effect that they have where it goes. Uh, the tremolo on this guitar is, is terrible, so if I do that um, with the Lamy Bar. Uh, it'll go out of tune immediately. So what I do, and you would have seen in the video at the beginning, is I just hit uh, the nines on the ninth fret on D and G, and you're basically sliding to 11. For those of you who are using the uh, tremolo, if you've got a, a original Floyd Rose or something like that, what I'd probably recommend you do is actually pre-dive with the bar, then strike the 11s, D and G on the 11, and before releasing the bar up to parent. So we. You want to start from about tone down, but if you accidentally go a bit too low, it's probably not in the world. Probably set, still sound awesome. Really slowly release the bar up until you get it even, flick the bar out of the way, and you finish section three. So let's have a look at section four. Section four begins with our index finger on the 12th uh, fret B string with either our pinky, for me it's the ring finger on the 16, and what we're going to be doing is plucking the 16, pulling off, and then hanging on the 12th, picking on the 12th in this pattern as follows. Da -na -na -na. So the, full, the first is a pull, and then we pluck the rest. Just like that. We're going to repeat that sequence up the B string, so we go 16, 12, do two of them, 17, 14, do two of them. 1916, do two of them. And then we're going to be on 21 and 17, but we change the pattern and do this. 22. Before finally landing on 19 on the bottom E string. So let's have a look at that again really, really slowly. And this is what I love about KK. I mean, it's just, <laughs> he, lulls you, he lulls you sort of into a false sense of security as you go, and you, you're expecting to hear. But that's not what he does. He changes the time signature just as you get to the top, or the signature, but he changes the pattern of notes just at the top uh, to be um, a, just a series of straight quavers. So the whole sequence again, really, really slowly. We're going to be landing on that. Delicious 19 on the bottom E. The rest of section four is just to finish this off. Once we're here, we bend fully up and go, come back down. It's dee 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 dee. If I can bend properly, it would be great. We then Repeat that process before moving into the awesome cadence that comes next. Sorry, 
pulling off, so we're going um, bending 19 up to 21 down to 16. So just that entire sort of bridging part at the end of this section is... Um, and we're now ready to begin the, um, the next section, which is section 5. So section 5... You're still here with your index finger just where it was before, on the 16 on the E string. And it's a, se a sequence of four, uh, four notes over three tones. That's 19, 16, uh, and then 17 on the B. And you can see what we're doing here is we're pulling off that first one and then plucking the remaining two. The best way to do that is to just, if you're just getting used to this kind of thing, is just my index finger is just ever so slightly coming off. I'm still whole, it's still touching the E string, but it's just coming off as I as I hit the um, the 17 on the B string. It's ever so slightly coming off just to make sure that there's no ringing. So we do we do do two of them. So there's eight notes in total. We then repeat that three more times in different positions. So it's 19, 16, 17 at the beginning. 17, 14, and 16 on the B. 16, 12, 14. Before finally 14, 11, 12. Let's hear all eight patterns together. So starting back up where we were, 19, 16, 17. 17, 14, 16. 16, 14, 12. 14, 11, 12. And that's the end of section 5. There's still more solo to come. What we uh, are now going to do is move into section uh, 6, I think I'm up to. I'm losing count of the section numbers. And they don't really matter that much anyway, as long as you know the, the, roughly a bit of the song I'm talking about. And now we're ready to begin section 6 after we finish that uh, sequence of very, very fast... We're ready to... Uh, come down to section 6, which begins on the uh, ninth fret on the top string, and it's a chromatic sequence, all palm muted. So before we get to all of the, the rest of that, let's talk about the, the transition, because you've just finished going, and believe it or not, that note comes straight after, in the exact set. There's no pause in between. It's nearly impossible to do. That wasn't even a few lights speak. Very, very hard to get it. Um, I think probably when I'm playing it, what I'm actually doing is I'm just not bothering to voice that last 11. I'm just going, taking a breath, go get a cup of tea, come back, sit down again. I'm ready to begin this next section of chromatic uh, sequence on the on the uh, ninth fret on the top string. So again, this section, chromatic, 9, 10, 11, 12 with on the top E. We then do the same thing starting from 8 on the A string. Let's hear it again from the 9. The next part of this, you probably want to do the same thing uh, on the 7 on the D string, but that's not what happens. It's actually pluck the 7 twice and then uh, pull off 11 to 7. So let's hear the three strings together, starting 9 on the E, 8 on the A, 7, 7, 11, 7 on the D. Again slowly. Next part is we are pulling, uh, voicing the 9 with our middle finger on the G, pulling off to 8. Just that same sequence again. And so what you've actually got there is four sets of four. Uh, we then move to this hopping kind of movement on our way up to uh, the uh, eventually getting to 11 on the E, uh, down to finish on 12 on the B. And that section goes like this. We begin by pulling 9 to 8 on the G again, which we've just done. We're going to repeat it. 11, 9... 
10 9 on the B. Take a rest and pluck that 9 a couple of times before proceeding to the next chapter, the final chapter of the movement, which is to repeat 10 9, 12 10, and then 11 9, pulling off on the bottom E string to finally land on 12. It might be easier when you're at speed actually to pause on that 12. Okay. So let's just hear that last section again. And the whole movement together from the chromatic piece, really slowly, on the 9. One more time really slowly, that was probably a little bit faster. the end of that section. What would we up to? Section 6, I think. Um, after you've done that, you've got to immediately snap to a big bend 15 to 17 on the B string. Coming off 15, uh, so that's a bend for 15, 17. Coming back off to 15 and 12. If you want, you could probably get 16 on the G instead. I come down to the index finger on the 12. And you, you can sing the rest of this in your head, you probably already know what it's going to do. So that's just simply exactly what it looks like. It's 15, 17, bending up to 19. Three times... It's actually a pull off. We then go 14, 16 on the G. Half bent. And then you're back up in that same position. Artificial harmonic on the 17 uh, on the B there. So that whole section again, uh, we've just gone. Power chord, 7th fret on the top E. If I play it correctly. And then we just return to our position and continue. Same exact bend as before, 15, 17 on the B. And that's 15, 17, 18, all full bends. So we go two of two 15s. Shake if you can. Reposition now on uh, the 19 on the E. Your index finger. This is. Very, very simple. 19, 20, 19 on the top E. Middle finger onto 20 on the B. And then 22, 20, 19. We then pluck 21 on the G, and those same three notes again. Really, really slowly. We then run back up that entire sequence of notes, starting first, however, on the 19 on the G. It's important to get the timing of that right. They're not all the same space of notes between each other. I think it's maybe triplets on the way up. And then da da da! <clears throat> and that's the end of that section. We'll call that section seven. We're then ready to move into section eight, which is this descending movement. <clears throat> and what this is, is it's a series of hammer and pull, and so on. 
there are two sets of five, and each five ends in a pause on a final note. So the first set of five begins on bottom E, uh, 19, and it's 1920, 17, 19, 15, 17, 14, 15, 12, 14, rest on the 10. So there should be five there. One, two, three, four, five, rest. Now repeat all of that, but starting on 14, 15. Five of these. 14, 12, 14, 10, 4, 10, 12, 8, 10, 7, 8. Resting on the five. So you can see that it's the exact same pattern. It's five hammer and pulls with a rest and a final note. Uh, so let's hear those two sets of five again, really, really slowly, 19, 20 to be us. That's wrong. Fourteen. And we're then ready for the very last section of the song, which is kind of like a a, a supercharged version of the, the two sets of five we've just done there. I'm not sure how many there are, we'll have to count as we go here. Uh, you're on five already, don't move, keep your hand in the same position. Put your ring finger and your pinky finger on seven and eight, get ready for this. Uh, the time signature is a little bit different, instead of going diddly 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 there, that's not what happens. Classic KK once again, what we're doing is following the pattern, I'll play it slowly in, in, in rhythm. So it's da 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 Three five three on the beat. Straight back up to where you were. Seven five seven five. And then finally seven six five four on the G. So we'll do the whole thing really slow. Yeah, one more time, really slowly. Straight back forward, your index finger. Because you are finished. You're done. That's the whole thing. So, uh, thanks very much for watching. Uh, I hope this has been of use to you guys. Truly a fantastic solo. Um, one of KK's finest. Uh, and uh, I hope you enjoy. And I will see you guys again soon. Cheers.